guys welcome back to my channel if this is your first time here my name is Jessica today we are going to be doing a bit of a different styling video it's not like my usual hauls we're gonna be doing kind of tomboy street looks like very unrefined but still cute outfits we'll be mixing in a lot of like baggier styles with more fitted cute crop tops um, and just looser layers I feel like that vibe is just so in right now especially with the 90s totally being like the hot trend and i mean i feel like a lot of cute tomboy or girlier tomboy looks were definitely all very much 90s style so without further ado here we go this is the first outfit so we have this cute crop top from urban outfitters it is truly one of my favorite crop tops ever it holds so well like it's very just tight but not in a way where it like it digs into your skin it's relatively thin but just the elasticity on it it holds so well um it also does fit a little bit small so i would size up one size then we have just some baggier sweatpants. These are my favorite sweatpant joggers in the entire world. These are the misguided ones. And I just love how they fit. They have a little drawstring right here. And then for shoes, I decided to pair them with my Air Jordan pandas. Well, they're called pandas, I guess, but then I think the original name is like OG Twists or something. I'm not entirely sure, but a lot of people call these pandas, so. I do too. <laughs> now, if you want to kind of like continue to zhuzh up the outfit, I am pairing this and well, I'm just tying this around my waist. It is this like old black and white um, tweed jacket from Zara, just to give it a little bit more flavor, you know? And because it is long on me, I am short. What I like to do on long flannels or long shirts is that I'll like just roll it over, roll the top over a little bit. So it even gives it just more like texture here and it's not as long, so I don't look as short. <laughs> Lastly, can't forget the sunnies. I decided to go with a cat eye for this just to make it a little bit, just a little bit more girly. You could do like the rectangle frames, but I feel like that's almost too much into the trend and I still want to make it look very refreshed and you know 2020 so here is the full look together for the next outfit this is honestly one of my new favorite pieces in my closet so I've been trying to look for a pair of kind of more of a vintage wash um, pair of denim overalls these are the Levi ones and they were sold out everywhere I actually ended up finding them on Amazon but I love them because it's the perfect baggy fit it's not tapered at the bottom which is what I wanted as you can see it's it's still like bunches well I don't know if you can tell here but it bunches at the bottom and they're just a good overall loose fit you can wear it unhooked on one arm or obviously it hooked on both. And then for this top, I'm just wearing this old Free People sports bra. I've had this guy for like three or four years. If you guys did see my Free People, um, what was it? The activewear haul. So this is one of their Free People movement pieces. Movement is their activewear line. Um, I said in the video that I love their stuff because it's things that I wear for literally years on and this is I mean, just another testament to like how much I love their pieces and how long that they last. The only thing is that because it is like a sports bra, it does have this band here, but I mean, it's cute. It's fine. It's not a big deal. Now we're going to clip this back up because I'm going to show you guys another way to style these overalls. One of my dear friends, Delaney, if you guys don't follow her, you need to. She has the best style and she is like one of my favorite humans on this entire planet. Um, she just took a plaid shirt and she tied it around and I was like, oh, so cute. Why didn't I think of this? So um, this one isn't too long, but we're just gonna fold it over just cause, you know, just cause we can. The front is a little bit long though. So I am gonna kind of roll the front more 
And that is it. So again, really cute, just adds a little bit more flair to the outfit. And last but not least, Sunnies, we are going to do a tortoise rectangle one with these. For this one, this is more of like a 90s vibe. So we just have a black ribbed tube top. This one is um, an old Zara item and then just some old destroyed jeans. And then again, pairing the look with my Air Jordan pandas. Um, I love this look because it's just like, it's literally the easiest look, but I feel like it's just very cute and effortless. And then if you want to too, you can throw on like a cropped leather jacket. And I feel like it continues to just give the look so much more edge. Last touch again, sunglasses always. And now I feel like the look is all tied together. Just very cute, cool girl chic. This next one is definitely a lot more like grungy chic. Um, so I have this ribbed crop top from Misguided, some biker shorts, seamless biker shorts from Bandier. These are literally my favorite pair of biker shorts ever. I wear them both working out and just like with my regular clothes. They're completely seamless. They're high waisted and they hold so well. Like this is a really good thick material. It's not see through and it just feels expensive. It is on the pricier side, but honestly, I have just been trying to find and buy cheaper bike shorts and I feel like I continuously waste money because I keep telling myself, okay, like just wear it. This is going to be good because it's only, you know, $20 or whatever, but all the money that I spent on just cheaper bike shorts, I could have easily gotten another pair of these. So Highly recommend. I think they come in white too. But anyways, back to the outfit. So love this combo. I feel like it's just very bad boy 90s girl. Um, and then I paired it with my Doc Martens. These are the Sinclairs. I used to wear the Jadens all the time, but they are these are so much more comfortable just because they're soft leather. And um when you see it, I'll post a picture. They have like this weird zipper thing in the middle. You can totally take it off. I chucked mine and threw mine away immediately as soon as I got them, but I love these. They're so comfy and they even have kind of like a more cushion heel. The Jadens I literally never touch anymore and I probably never will ever again. Last but not least, another just cute little crop top with some mom destroyed or I guess baby dad jeans. These ones are quite baggy. Um, but first this top, I'm obsessed. I got this from Luna B and look at the back, how freaking cute. It actually holds too and like twisting, turning, there's no slippage, so super cute. Um, I'm gonna try and link it. I don't know if it's still available, but hopefully it is. And then in terms of jeans, again, just some really cute baggy jeans. And then wearing my 112s uh, Louis Vuitton stitched Air Forces. So just love this look so much. It's just very effortless, but I still feel like you look really cute. Kind of like you belong in a 90s music video. If you want, which I think is always a great um, idea, you pair an oversized leather jacket. So this one says, girls roll. It's super old Zara. I got this in Hong Kong um, four years ago now. So it's definitely old, but one of my favorites in staples. And just, I feel like, again, it just gives your outfit like that pow factor. I lied, we have one more. So this is the ever famous Nirvana oversized tee from Urban Outfitters. It is truly my favorite t-shirt ever. Not only is it so soft, but it's just so oversized. I can wear it as a dress, I wear it with shorts, and now obviously with baggy jeans. So all you need to do is just do like a really uh, soft front tuck and then just drape it over. And that's it. I'm wearing the same jeans from the, the outfit that I just put on as well as the same shoes. And then of course, your sunnies. So whenever I do a darker colors like this, I like to stick with black um, sunnies. So you can either do like the cat eye one that I always wear or these retro 
uh, rectangle ones, but since, you know, we are going more retro chill vibes, I decided to go with these. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and you guys got a ton of cute new fun ideas. Honestly, it's a lot of just mixing crop top basics or you can even do like just regular t-shirts or tanks and pairing them with baggier bottoms. Um, you don't want to do too much baggy on top and on bottom. This was a very just out there exception for me i like to typically do something more fitted on top and then looser on the bottom or vice versa something loose on the top and then fit it on the bottom that way people can still see that you have like a body shape if that makes any sense so let me know what your favorite look is in the comments below and i will see you next time